Kill a Mockingbird. Setting. A la Shmoop. Setting is such a fun thing to talk about in To Kill a Mockingbird because there are so many layers to it. We have the town, which is kind of the smaller setting. We have Maycomb, Alabama. And this is one of those stereotypical tiny southern towns. Everyone knows everyone. There's a lot of gossip. Everyone is up in everyone's business. And what that means is that they kind of all have to get along. They really don't have any other option, unless they're just going to start killing each other, which spoiler alert, they do, then they're just going to have to get along and they're going to have to kind of accept each other for their differences. So that's kind of part of the, the issue. The other thing is that we're in a town that is just completely engulfed in, in racism. It's not like, oh, everyone gets along, so there's no racism. It's the opposite. Right. This becomes the, the macro setting, the bigger, uh, broader setting. We're in Jim Crow era when there were actual laws segregating black people from white people. And this is something that Scout doesn't quite understand. Like she gets that it's wrong, but it just, that's just how it was. This was actual law. It wasn't just people's beliefs. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're, we're rooted in this, in this society where black people and white people are physically kept separate. So having a town where everyone knows each other and kind of has to get along, there's a little bit of, of tension there. What happens when laws are immoral? Yeah, since Atticus is a lawyer, we're forced to think about these this issue of the following the law being moral versus just being moral when you know the law is immoral. Mm -hmm. Scout doesn't quite grasp the difference there, um, and that's something that we kind of see Atticus trying to teach her. He says things to her throughout the book like, you know, everyone's everyone's a good person. Everyone's nice if you just get to see them. And you know, we see this kind of moral, like everyone's a good person thing. But then we're in trial, and we see an obviously innocent black man get a guilty verdict. Right. We we know he did not do it, and Atticus makes that very clear through his, um, you know, through his testimony. But but he's still convicted, and that's because of the law. So we see a justice system that is immoral, we see a society that's immoral, and the only way to stop it is for people to, you know, act up and do what Atticus does. And, and it, that gets into a lot of the moral complexity of the book, did Atticus do enough? Because then we get to civil rights movement and people are actually doing like boycotts and, you know, Rosa Parks isn't, you know, is going to sit in the front of the bus and it's like, what if Atticus had done something more like that instead of just this like defending the... Right, and, and it seems germane to his character, he's going to follow the law. How does the setting affect the character's attitudes toward race? What's the moral dilemma that Scout is struggling with? Could Atticus have done more to fight for civil rights? 